Hey YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kia and you're watching Kia's Budget Life. If you are interested in budgeting videos as well as shop with me videos, make sure you subscribe and turn your post notification for the very next video. So today's cash stuffing is the very last one of the year, you guys. I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all my kids uh Santa photo. This is my oldest one, Kobe and Mason, for those of you that are new. These are my babies. Um, I didn't think my oldest one wanted to take pictures with Santa Claus because he doesn't believe in Santa Claus anymore. My little three-year-old was having a fit, y'all. But anyway, um, I do have some new things to show you guys. I am still revamping my binders and all. Uh, let's just go ahead and get into uh, this video. Go ahead and cut my iPad on. So today we'll be stuffing $365. My uh, husband, Jonathan, gave me $544, and I received $34 in child support, which is a total of $578. Bills this week I have to pay is rent, credit, and a phone bill, which is, totals up to be $370. And that totals out to, like I said, the income was $578, so track in bills and IOUs, because I do owe a few of my envelopes, and I owe um, $38. That equals 170, but if you add the rent, which is 195, that is the only bill I actually stuff on camera. The other two or all the other bills, I leave in the bank. So um, that's why I added the rent back in for us to get the total of 365 that we will be stuffing today. All right, so that 365 is of course the rent. 70 is going to cash envelopes. 100 is going to sinking funds, and I do have some rollover money to put in my holidays um binder, which is full of saving challenges. And nothing will be going into um, my savings. But I do have some savings challenges that I've created in my savings challenge binder. I will show you guys. But let's go ahead and count out the money. Because it's supposed to be $365. Okay, so it's $1, $150, $2, $250, $270, $290. 310, 330, 340, 350, 360, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is 365. Are y'all ready for the new year? I am so ready. Like this this week in between Christmas and the New Year's is like you just don't know what to do. <laughs> um but I am glad Christmas is over and everybody got what they wanted. And things like that. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get started with cash envelopes. The only one I'll be stuffing is um, gas. But like I said, um, I did have some rollover money, which is from gas. I'll be taking that 20 out. And this is what I'll be using to put um, towards my uh, holiday savings challenges. And then gas will be getting 70. So, that's a 50 and a 20. Seventy in gas, and it just totals out to be seventy. All right, and we're going to do. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do holidays next, since it's next. All right. So that is it for cash envelopes, but I do have um some more rollover money in spending, and I normally put that into my dollar drawer, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just setting it up there. And that is it for that. All right, so my holidays binder. I'm trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, I don't think I am. <laughs> this thing is so hard to open. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. So um, since I only have one denomination, I, you know what? Yeah. I only have the one denomination of 20. See, if I would have had like a 10 and like two 10s or a 10 and five and five ones in my gas envelope, I can like put it in different envelopes besides just one. But I just decided to put it into Valentine's Day. All right. So let me get my markers and see which one I'm going to color in. So I think I'm going to color this one in. And I'm going to do this pink right here. All right, so that one's colored in. Go ahead and get that Sweeney. So it now has 25. 
Yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right, 25 into Valentine's Day. All right, and then that is it for my holidays binder. Then we're just gonna add up how much I got in total in holidays. That's 25, 5, 8, 25. So it's $63 that I have saved in my holidays binder so far. And while we're talking about savings challenges, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my savings challenge um binder. So I I'm supposed to be starting a new job next week or the week after that or something like that. I'll be working um, where my husband works. If you guys have been following me, y'all know I've already worked there before. Um, so hopefully it works out this time. Um, so I'm supposed to be doing something different. So um, until I start that job, I won't really be stuffing in here like that. Because um, we need more income in order to do these savings challenges. But this is Save Opal, if you guys remember. Is um I made this by myself, the Save Our Play game. Um, I try to you know make my own savings challenges, or you know, that we don't have to like keep purchasing savings challenges. Even though I don't mind supporting other people, especially like on Etsy, um, I rather do it myself so I can save money. So this one is a rainbow savings challenge. All of the um strips is fifteen dollars. The clouds is twenty five. The sun is 20 and a raise is $5, and this will total to be $20. So, I actually have all the colors of the rainbow in this little baggie here that I'll be using when I um, start this savings challenge. The next one I have is a roll the dice savings challenge. I made this myself too. It's a little odd number, but I'll be saving 126 doing this. Um, next is the 50 envelope challenge, 1,275. Then this one is going to be the playing cards challenge. Um, this is the one I'm still working on. I have to, um, make a tracker for it, but yeah. Um, I have a dollar savings challenge, $5 and the $10. I might change this one to something else, but that is what I have so far in my savings challenges. And I'm super Super excited to start doing those when I do get a job. But we're going to go ahead and move on to sinking funds. So like I said, I did change up my envelopes. As you can see, I balloon them out. I'm going to flip over to house and we put in $10 in that one. Oh, there's some in there. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Okay, so house now has $17, right? And if y'all can see, um, my son Mason is next, and I actually um, bought him something once I went to the bank, got all my denominations, the cash stuff and everything, and I got him some uh, t-shirts that equal to be $10, which is exactly what I was stuffing for him today. So I had to take out of my son Covey's envelope. So that's why you see he has 20 and my son, I got it marked out. So Mason won't be getting stuff, but I will count how much she does have left over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars. Yeah. So seven dollars in his envelope. I normally put $10 in their envelopes right now with just my um, husband's income. When I start working, I think I'm going to do um, a little bit more, maybe like $20. And um, I'm actually going to do a separate um, sinking funds for both of them where I'm going to just keep stuffing it and never take any money out. And then when they turn 21, I'll let them have that envelope. All the money that's in that envelope, they'll have. But these two here is just ones that I um stuff for like the needs they need like right now, like you know, clothing and things like that. But Cubby will be getting $20. Um, I'm gonna do that in two tens. So he now has 10, 20, 25, 30, 31. Okay. I think he, he just needs a haircut. And um, I know my son Mason is good right now, but my son, Kobe probably, he needs a haircut before they start school Monday or Tuesday. 
Um, y'all love my buy, uh, my envelope. <laughs> But anyway, um, moving on to what's next? Grocery. So I do have my husband's um, envelope back in here because, like I said, I'm supposed to be starting a job soon. And I want to start stuffing for him. And grocery will be getting $70. So it's a 50 and... Oh, a 20. What am I doing? <laughs> a 50 and a 20. And that's all that is in there. Okay, and that is it in this binder. I actually ran out of the gems here, the clear ones. They don't have any more. They just have like the color ones. So, um, yeah, it's just some of them got it and some of them don't. But I'm working on it, y'all. All right, moving on to the next sinking funds binder. Be stuff in my rent for January. And I um included the amount I want to stuff in each envelope, like the goal I want to have. Um, rent every month is $550. Um, the water bill doesn't have anything because it varies. Um, I want to put $1,500. That's my goal to put in this envelope. One k in vacation. I actually have a savings challenge for that one in this uh binder. It's um, 1000 in three months which is uh, 12 weeks, I put in $84, and it'll be $1,008. So that is exciting. Um, I want $1,500 in emergency, $500 in birthdays, $5K in wedding, because we are planning to have our wedding in 2027. Wait a minute. Yeah, 2027. Um, school, $500 is like a back to school. But it's also like, if you had like a fundraiser, school pictures and stuff like that throughout the school year, that's what this um, envelope is for too. But 500 should be good. I need to still figure out how much I owe in debt and I'll be working on that. But for right now, I'm not sure. 3K in new home because we do plan on moving out of this house um, in 2024. Surgery, um, I need to put in 8K. So this is one of the um binder. Uh, these are one of the envelopes that I had um an IRU for $20 because someone gave me $20 um earlier this year to get my surgery, my breast reduction. So I just had to put that back in there. And then I want 1K for our anniversary. But going back to Brent, I just want to show y'all the um update with those envelopes, but I'll be putting in 195, 150, 220s, and these five ones should be five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. All right. So counting how much I have in rent: one, two, two fifty, two seventy, two ninety, two ninety five, two ninety six, two ninety seven, two ninety eight, two ninety nine, three hundred. One, two. So that's 302. And rinse. Yeah. Just had to make sure. But yeah, um, rent will be uh, fully funded next paycheck. So that is it for this video you guys and we're going to go ahead and get started with my savings jars oh let me go ahead and add up how much we um have in sinking funds so that's 17 7 31 31 and 70. i don't include the uh bills but that is 125 So I have 125 saved in sinking funds. I have 63 in holidays and I have 70 in cash envelopes currently. So yeah. Let's go ahead and move on to my savings jars. So like I said, I have one dollar for my dollar jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll that up. All right, that is completely rolled up throw it right in there then we have my coin jar so this is all the coins 
for this week. Doesn't seem like a lot when I don't have it in my hand, but I use the lid, so I'm going to throw that in there. All right, you guys, so that wraps up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn your post notifications. And I will talk to y'all for the very next video. Happy New Year!